I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're going to talk about sharpening hole saws. This one in particular. Now hole saws have a couple of things that need sharpening. One is the pilot drill. The second is the saw itself. This one's fairly simple. This drill gets pretty badly hammered. Someone thinned the web, but when they thinned it, they made it a little bit too weak. So now we have a point that won't hold up under load. Let's sharpen that first. This one is just at the point where it's about dead. I've run out of fluid on that side, and this side's not much better. This drill is in much better condition. There's a lot more body left to it. couple of quick wipes on the wheel. One on the left is pretty well trashed. I put an edge on it, it should bite, but I don't think it's going to clear the wood very well. We'll give it a shot and see how it does. The one on the right, that's actually a very good drill. It's got a good point to it, flutes are in good shape, the web is thin enough at the point, I think it'll be okay. I'll try punching a couple of holes with this just to see how it does. Plugs up almost immediately. I think this drill is toast. Now that we have the pilot drill sharp, let's check out how well the hole saw itself works. I like this kind of 
hole saw arbor. It has this set of pins that come up and engage the blade. There's four holes down inside the saw and when I extend these pins they engage those holes and they extend up in there and lock the saw in place. Now this one has four holes, that's nice. This one only has two, it's a little less expensive. It doesn't let you lock up as easy. Because it's only got two holes, it only hits either there or nothing. This one you can turn 90 degrees and still get it. So it locks up on the arbor a little tighter. It's just a better brand of hole saw. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a name on it. It does say two and a half inches, uh, made in USA, 2000 RPM max. Well, I'm not going to run it any faster than 2000 RPM. But let's try drilling a hole with it. Well, it's working, but not well. Let's compare it to a sharp one. See how easy that comes off? Pins means it never really locks down on the thread. So it comes off and you can quickly change it. Last little bit I had to crank it pretty hard because I was right on the edge of the deepest hole that this hole saw can make. You can see the burning where I was having to wobble the blade. But it's just right up near the maximum thickness that that hole saw can do. There's a ridge in the bottom of it. And that ridge actually stops the wood from going down inside of it. I had to end up burnishing that little bit right there at the bottom just to get the saw to go through. But as you can see, that cut pretty well. Nice sharp points on the teeth. This is one I sharpened. This one, the teeth are rounded over. Hasn't been sharpened since it came from the factory. Let's see what we can do about that. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel. Just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.
you'd like to continue watching videos here at Old Sneelock's Workshop, you can click over here and that'll take you to the last video that I posted. Or you can click over here and go to a YouTube video chosen especially for you. And please, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.